The Patut Tut monster. Found all across the world, there are stories of large ape like humans that have commonly been referred to by many as the Yeti or Sasquatch. Interestingly enough, it appears that the Vietnamese are also plagued by such a creature that is referred to by the locals under many different names. Known as the Patut Tut, the forest people of Vietnam are described as being large ape like creatures. They often fit the descriptions of the Sasquatch and are believed to inhabit the Vu Quang nature reserve that is connected between Vietnam, Laos and northern Borneo. A number of researchers have found a diverse collection of evidence to support the theory that a hominid creature exists in the region, with footprints, sightings and recovered bones, only building upon the current held theories surrounding the creature. According to an encounter made back during the Vietnam War, a team of American soldiers claimed to have sighted such a creature that they referred to as the Rock Ape, given that it would normally be found perched atop a large boulder. The reports given by soldiers claimed that the creature looked far closer to that of an undiscovered ape species. This is because the animal had a reddish tinge to its fur, stood at only 5 feet tall and made no attempts at running away from the soldiers upon seeing them. There have been no such encounters with the Patut Tut that have ever been violent in nature, though sightings of the creature have been incredibly rare, with the only major pieces of evidence being centred around the discovery of footprints, bones and expeditions that have led to little to no results entirely. Monsters within the trees Similar to the legend surrounding that of the tunnel rat demons, the monsters referred to as the monsters within the trees are also that of paranormal entities. The stories tell of them being birthed from the casualties of the Vietnam War. For many unaware of the sniper tactics used by the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War, it was common for the Viet Cong soldiers to use the tallest and densest trees that filled the jungles of their country as sniper towers. This would allow the soldier to be hidden in the overgrowth of the tree branches while also having a clear line of sight to any American soldiers passing throughout the region. This meant that a large number of casualties from the American side was caused by these camouflaged snipers. They would stay perched at the top of the trees for several days at a time. It was due to these impossible to predict tactics that the American soldiers began deploying the use of large chemical agents all across the jungles known as Agent Orange. Agent Orange, a tactical herbicide created by the United States military scientists, was a newly discovered chemical that was capable of causing the trees and vegetation to immediately wither and die. It caused the vegetation to slowly wither and disappear, removing the camouflaged protection that the Viet Cong soldiers were using to gain their wartime advantage. Although American soldiers and the local Viet Cong were told that the herbicide was safe for humans, rumours from the Vietnamese quickly spread surrounding their hidden snipers getting the worst of the Agent Orange herbicide poured over them as planes passed overhead, causing horrible transformations in the soldiers and leading them to take on new and disgusting figures. Legends began to spread of these once valuable Vietnamese soldiers becoming nothing more than mindless monsters living within the trees of the forest. Many believe that perhaps such legends were spread in an attempt to further negative propaganda towards the American forces, painting the United States Army as mad scientists slowly transforming the Vietnamese into monsters. However, the legend would continue to grow even after the war had long since ended. Today, some newborns that come from the region of those most affected by the Agent Orange herbicide have come out completely disfigured, with some having limbs missing or taking on strange shapes altogether. This could very well mean that the legends behind the disfigurement could be true and that, perhaps even to this day, there are inhuman humanoids roaming the jungles. Encounters with the Aswang Definitely seen as the strangest creature encountered, the Aswangs are an almost impossible to categorize and understand mysterious creature that has left many locals across the Philippines terrified for their lives. 
given the fact that the country is often torn in tribal warfare and other terrorizing incidents surrounding actions of the Filipino government and revolutions involving the people. This has led to a number of stories surrounding the areas of the Philippines housing people that are not quite human. According to families at the center of revolutions, they have reported that on the outskirts of forests located away from larger population centers, there appears to be a grouping of inhuman creatures that are impossible to explain and are a great threat to the Filipino people. These creatures are known as the Aswangs and have been described as appearing human and establishing small human towns away from society. Although they might appear completely normal at first, the creature is described as being completely mute in human form and will run to hide when seen. If they get away, they will begin to transform and grow large wings similar to that of a bat and can separate from their lower halves as they fly through the air. Interestingly enough, urban legends surrounding the creature have spread all across the Philippines, including stories of people having children with the creatures that are born with special powers or being able to encounter these creatures in hidden alleys in the city to be worked with as they promise to fight you for their own personal treasures. This has led many revolutionists across the country claiming to be descending from that of the Aswangs or using the tactic to inspire fear by claiming many of their freedom fighters are Aswangs. The Hopkinsville Goblin Back on the 21st of August in the year of 1955, there is an impossible to explain incident that led to many believing that perhaps some strange extraterrestrial beings later given the name of the Hopkinsville Goblins, had made contact with humans being only to demonstrate a malevolent behavior. According to the police report surrounding the incident, the Hopkinsville Police Department reported that five adults and seven children entered the police station obviously distraught and in a panic. They reported to the police department that they had been in a gunfight lasting more than four hours after small alien creatures had come out of a spaceship and began to attack them at their farmhouse. According to two witnesses of the event, they claimed that there had been somewhere between 12 and 15 short humanoid figures that had repeatedly popped up at the doorway and peered in through the windows that forced the family to open fire to keep the creatures from entering the home. As they would shoot the creatures, they claimed they would fall to the floor momentarily only to roll away and get back up and resume trying to enter the home. The others gave descriptions of the creatures that they believed were extraterrestrial beings standing at roughly two to four feet tall and had large pointed ears, claws for hands and large eyes that glowed yellow. This led to the police department sending four city police, three deputy sheriffs and four military police to the farmhouse to conduct an investigation on the matter, leading to them finding evidence of the gunfights, bullet holes and clawed attempts to enter the home against the doors and windowsills. A few hours later, the family would pack up and leave the farmhouse entirely after reports claimed the creatures had returned at around 3.30 a.m. and tried to resume the gunfight once more. Nothing more was ever understood from the event following this incident. The Ghoul Through Arabic folklore is that of terrifying legends and reports of an entity similar to that of the Jinn referenced throughout the Quran, but cursed to roam and dwell in uninhabited locations away from people. This entity is known as the Ghoul. The Ghoul is that of a shape-shifting demonic entity that has been reported as inhabiting cemeteries, wandering through the desert and taking the form of animals and loved ones in an attempt to get close to someone before devouring them. Variations of the Ghoul legend claim that once a Ghoul devours someone, it will begin to take their form and become stuck in that form until another person is devoured or an incantation is spoken to allow it to return to its truly demonic form. It is due to this reason why many believe the ghoul inhabits cemeteries as to allow it to take the form of recently deceased loved ones and whoever else it chooses. Interestingly enough, there are a number of conspiracies and reports all throughout Iran and Afghanistan with people believing that the demonic entities of the jinn and the ghoul roam the land in an attempt to continue spreading war and violence. 
There are even a number of Iranian military reports that speak of encounters with Ghul and Jin several days before a large riot or attack was perpetuated by local populations. This has led some to believe that these entities are responsible for the turmoil throughout the countries and could be working to spread the influence of such violent tendencies throughout the populace.